I'm Dominic Esposito, your drill instructor, and welcome to Drill Instructor TV. This introductory episode of Boot Camp is going to give you the big picture of how your offense and defense play together. We're looking at things like aiming, kicking, banking, English, deflection, your warm-up system, your entire mental game and preparation for competition. For the next few moments, we're going to look at how we work together through Drill Instructor TV in the Boot Camp Pool Academy to take your game to the next level. Now there are a few drills that I want you to get started with that you can do very simply at your pool hall and this gives you the opportunity to see whether or not you may have some flaws in your stroke. Take your cue and just put it directly in line to the pocket just like this. I have basically the joint of the cue just here near mid table. I'm going to go ahead and take a few balls out of the rack and I'm going to line them up against the cue and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to carefully and slowly lift this up without trying to jar the balls. Then I'll go ahead and bring all the rest of the balls up to here. As you come down into position with your cue stick between these balls, practice your pre-stroke and then release your playing stroke. You're looking to see whether or not if you are twisting your hand to the inside, you're going to move your stick to the outside. If you are turning your wrist to the outside, you are going to bring the cue shaft into the inside. When you do this, virtually any movement, it's going to slap these balls up front. It'll look a little bit like this. Notice if you would as I put my cue between and as I'm stroking with my pre-stroke and then my shot stroke, you have a nice dead straight stroke. But if you jerk your wrist to the inside, Here's what happens, and all of a sudden, you see I'm touching the balls, I, and if you jerk it to the outside, same thing, there's going to be a touch, and that is out of alignment. Take ball by ball, starting with the cue ball, place it directly in front, almost right against the balls. Then, as you come down for your stroke, hold your position, and three, two, one, stroke. Three, two, one, and full follow through. Bring up the next ball, put it into place, and three, two, one, fire. And just continue to shoot the entire rack into the pocket, double checking what you're doing on whether your hand is moving in or out, causing the front of the cue to turn. The next thing you can do by putting the palm of your hand on the third diamond on the table and using the position of the second diamond as if you had a cue ball that were right here sitting on the rail for you. Put the palm of your hand right on there and align the center of your cue perfectly onto the split of between the cloth and the rail. And the back of your cue is straight. Close one eye and see that the cue is directly perfectly split by the cloth. As you pre-stroke and release the stroke, if you're off to the side, that tells you you're turning your wrist out. If your stick comes in and you're bending to the inside, then obviously you're cranking your wrist in. You want to be able to take that shaft and go dead straight down the rail to know that you have a dead straight delivery with your follow through. And this rail alignment is going to show you that position perfectly. Now whether you're choosing to use the six balls in the center alignment or you're going to choose to use the dead straight alignment with the rail, both of these techniques give you the ability to see whether or not you're having any issues with your backhand rolling or revving. In both cases, you're going to see the evidence of what happens in the shaft, and this has to stop. What are we going to do when we get back? What are we going to do when we get back? I take a shower and hit the rack. I take a shower and hit the rack. The next thing I hear all too often is, I can't draw the ball. I can't seem to get drawn the ball. I've never learned how to draw the ball correctly. No matter what I try, the ball won't come back to me. The next part of stroke mechanics is understanding what's happening on the back arm. Players are coming down to the cue ball and they have their hand too far forward on the cue. At the time they make contact with the cue ball, they're already halfway through the follow through. Don't be getting into a thing where you're actually pulling the cue 
You want to make contact on the cue ball at perfect vertical at the point of contact. The next thing that you need to understand is what's happening to the elbow. Notice how my elbow and my shoulder are perfectly horizontal. So from here you have backstroke, contact, and then follow through. In this case where you use the cue ball and you're going to utilize this stroke mechanic technique, you want to be sure that that back arm does not move when you come through the stroke and that's going to let that tip land at the bottom of the cue ball or the top of the cue ball as you're planning to see the action on the cue ball that you desire. There's so much more that we can cover, but what I want you to see here as a sample of Drill Instructor TV is how we'll be able to spend time together with me giving you very critical advice right from the onset that you can begin doing right where you are, working through these tips that are going to transform your game to a new level of excellence. Double time.